So you want to change your life? We've always said that your life changes by the books you read, the meetings you attend, and the people you surround yourself with. Well, one time a college student asked Warren Buffett, what is your best advice for having success? And he responds with this quote, it's two sentences that I believe would change your life. Here's what Warren Buffett told him. It's better to hang out with people better than you. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours and you'll drift in that direction. So if you want to be successful, you want to win bad in your chosen career, business endeavor, you want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, here are five key traits to help incorporate what Warren Buffett just mentioned here in terms of finding and associating with people whose behavior is better than yours. I found number one to be very important, which is finding somebody that walks the walk. You know why? Because everybody can talk the talk. It's so good to talk the talk here on stage. It's so good to be somebody that's talking in front of the pulpit, to be in front of a classroom, to be in an a organization, to be a person in the boardroom that talks the talk. You talk really good, but when the boardroom's done and closed doors are, closed door conversations are happening, are you the type of person that actually follows through? So you want to talk about somebody that has proof in what they're working towards, that have a validation that what they're talking about is actually happening has come to fruition, that they validate their ideas, their message, and they embody their truth with results. One time a, a speaker was up there and man, he wowed everybody. He was a best-selling author and just wowed everybody with his, with his conversation, his talk. The conversation happened beyond stage. Just, hey, so, so how'd you make your money? How'd you make your money? Didn't really give an answer. I lost... For him, he lost credibility with me because he necessarily wasn't walking the walk. He just was a good speaker, but didn't follow through on the values and principles they talk so well about on stage, which leads me to number two, number three. Number two is values. Number three is principles. Let me explain values real quick. What is values? You see, values are subjective. Values are uh, personal. They could be rational, emotional, sometimes debatable. But values is something that people have as beliefs and opinions. And if you want to improve, Whose values system do you follow? Whose values do you embody? Whose values do you agree with? And sometimes, sure, it is debatable at, at certain periods of when those values should stand the test of time. And for example, when I was in the Marine Corps, we had core values, those being honor, courage, and commitment. Sometimes for some people, commitment is debatable, not to the Marines. For some people, honor is debatable, not to the Marines. Some people, courage, is debatable, just not to the Marines. So whatever value system that somebody values, do you align with those values? Which leads me to the third one, which is principles. So what's the difference of principles? Well, principles is objective. It's factual. It remains to be self-evident because it stood and has stood and will stand the test of time. And not only does it stand the test of time, it also transcends culture. It transcends individual. So therefore, when I'm following principles, that's why I believe so heartily in the Bible. Why? Because the test of human time, history, Genesis, Exodus, Greek times, Hebrew times, wars, human conflict. I'm studying the Bible and see how God has shown lessons through people, characters in the Bible. So therefore, I can learn the values and principles that will stand a test of time for today and tomorrow. Because why? In my opinion, you may not agree with this, but in my opinion, this factual information, this Bible that's currently today the number one best-selling book in the world, stood the test of time because of universal truths, universal principles. Let's leave it to number four. When you're following somebody, do they actually have influence? Now, I'm not just talking about a social media influencer with lots of YouTube subscribers, Instagram I'm talking about somebody that actually has influence. When they pick up the phone, people move. Behind closed door conversations, the leader of that meeting is that influencer. I'm not talking about somebody that gets likes and comments and subs. No, I'm talking about somebody that has real influence. And by the way, that might work too as well. A combination of social media influence, but they actually have influence in the boardroom. They have actually influence with influential people. And by the way, when they speak, people listen. And when people listen to them, they incorporate what they've learned. And when they incorporate what they've learned, their life changes. And when life changes, they improve their life. And last but not least, number five. The fifth area that I hope that you should look for in somebody to help elevate your life. 
and your associations is that that person that you're following, that person that you are allowing to influence you in your life, are they genuinely loved by others as a person and as an individual? Because you can love them because they have a lot of social media following. You just want clout. You just want to go grab a quick selfie with them. But that's all you want from them. Or that's all, that's all that you see. Out of them. Just a quick way to promo yourself on social media. Because you're associated, quote unquote, you're associated with that person. But do you genuinely love them based on their truths, their walk in the walk, the values, the principles, what they stand for? Are they genuinely loved by people? Because it's not based on status. It's not based on clout. What they can get you. But for who they are, what they stood for, and what they represent. So the question is, is the person that you're following, do they have that quality about them? That end of the day, people love them for them. Because what happens along the way, you start adopting these things, these five core things I talked about, and you start becoming that person for somebody else. So Warren Buffett, I love what you had to say. The Oracle of Omaha, one of the richest men in the world who moves markets, invests in companies, and basically a maker for who we are in this economy today. Again, his quote, it's better to hang out with people better than you. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours and you'll drift in that direction. And how we incorporate it into our business, because we want our guys and gals that are associated with us to start thinking for themselves. That I don't care what the social media says, what the right says, what the left says. Listen, you need to do both. Today, you need to do both. You need to understand what the right says in terms of politics, what the left says about politics, what this person says about finance, what this person says about money and business. So therefore you have a well-rounded opinion. So therefore you can start thinking for yourself. And when you start thinking for yourself, my friends, then you become that person we talked about in this video that people want to surround themselves with you. Before I let you go, I want you to check out this video here, how to raise your children like a faith-based millionaire. And this other video here about traits of becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire. That being said, I'd love to know your thoughts, your comments, your feedback, put it in the comment section. But what was your biggest takeaway from this talk. If you haven't done so already, follow our business page at Money Smart Guy and click like. If you haven't done so already on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications. Be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.